Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of April 19, 2021. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a weak opportunity to buy discretionary sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buyer return of 1.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $178.95. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.01. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell healthcare sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $119.95. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.69. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Philips 66 company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $78.48. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.05. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. ALG Resources was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that AOG Resources is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $72.91. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $71.29, unless is undervalued. Halliburton Company was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Halliburton Company is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.9%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $20.47, but we expect a possible buy price of $20.23. Kinder Morgan was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Kinder Morgan is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of half a percent. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $16.71, but we expect a possible sell price of $16.84. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $16.5, unless is undervalued.
Marathon Petroleum is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $53.44, but we expect a possible buy price of $52.46. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Marathon Petroleum. If it is below 3.20% of your stock price trade, this is a new buy suggested call option. On the table, Marathon Petroleum has a striking price at $54, and it will expire on April 30, 2021, exactly in 11 days. For this option, the actual call price is at $1.60, but we expect a possible call price at $0.64. Valero Energy was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Valero Energy is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $73.2. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $70.85, unless is undervalued. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy PayPal holdings. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $269.5. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.34. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Wells Fargo. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $42.07. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.98. American Express was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that American Express is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $146.72, but we expect a possible buy price of $145.02. On the PayPal Holdings was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that PayPal Holdings is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $276.75. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $261.5, unless is undervalued. Visa Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Visa Incorporated is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $220.54. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $232, unless is overvalued. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $247.08. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.73.
healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Pfizer Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $37.38. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.3. This is a new buy suggested put option. On the table, Abbuy Incorporated has a striking price at $109. And it will expire on April 30, 2021, exactly in 11 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.80. But we expect a possible put price at $0.83. This is a new buy suggested put option. On the table, Pfizer Incorporated has a striking price at $39. And it will expire on April 30, 2021, exactly in 11 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.15. But we expect a possible put price at $0.3. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today. Our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Boeing Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $248.3. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.16. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested call option. On the table, Caterpillar Corporation has a striking price at $232.5. And it will expire on April 30, 2021, exactly in 11 days. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.15. But we expect a possible call price at $1.27. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Sherwin-Williams. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.0%. You may sell at a minimum price of $261.83. For put option, a possible put price is at $6.99. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Starbucks Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $115.3. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.73. Amazon Incorporated is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buy return of 0.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $3,375.08. But we expect a possible buy price of $3,284.65. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Amazon Incorporated. 
If it is below 0.00% of your stock price consumer staples ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of staples sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Philip Morris. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $92.42. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.38. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell the Coca-Cola company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $53.51. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.68. The Coca-Cola company was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that the Coca-Cola company is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $53.08. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $54.46, unless is overvalued. CVS Health Corporation was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that CVS Health Corporation is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 0.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $75.47, but we expect a possible buy price of $74.47. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $75.86. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of technology sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy applied materials. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $132.8. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.24. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Cisco Systems Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.8%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $52.14. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.48. Activision Blizzard was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Activision Blizzard is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $98.74, but we expect a possible sell price of $99.51. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $92.64, unless Alphabet Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Alphabet Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buy return of 4.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $2,396.42. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $2,274.77, unless it's undervalued. Texas Instruments was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Texas Instruments is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $193.71. 
but we expect a possible sell price of $193.94. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $180. Communication sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Comcast Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $54.73. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.29. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Verizon Communications. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $58.07. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.99. This is a new buy suggested call option. On the table, Comcast Corporation has a striking price at $55, and it will expire on April 30, 2021, exactly in 11 days. For this option, the actual call price is at $1.50, but we expect a possible call price at $0.29. This is a new buy suggested put option. On the table, Verizon Communications has a striking price at $60, and it will expire on April 30, 2021, exactly in 11 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.78 but we expect a possible put price at $0.99. Utility Sector ETF was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Utility Sector ETF is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of minus 0.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $66.78, but we expect a possible buy price of $66.18. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling at the pr Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Southern Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.8%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $64.73. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.34. Dominion Energy was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Dominion Energy is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $77.67. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $80.21, unless it's overvalued. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.